When I was in the ninth grade, uh, there was a kid in our class named Jeffrey who had jet black hair and very white skin and rosy red cheeks. And for that reason, the way he looked, and no other good reason, the rest of us just relentlessly abused that kid. And there was a particular group that was led by another student named Mick, who was handsome and athletic and popular. And this particular group, which I was in, really picked on Jeffrey relentlessly all the time. I remember a time in the uh, locker room that there was one towel that was sort of pink, and uh, everybody threw it at Jeffrey and said, it's a fag rag and you're the one who should have it. And then another time somebody forced a, uh, a bathing cap onto his head that had flowers on it, clearly a woman's bathing cap. And this went on all through the school year. He never responded in any way. And eventually he started to just grin whenever he was picked on. And I intuitively felt it was time to withdraw from the group of boys that was picking on him. And I didn't go so far as to be his friend, uh, but I was civil to him. And, uh, and I stopped picking on him. And a few months later, we were all in the weight room in the gymnasium, and kids were doing various things. Mick, the handsome boy who was the main abuser of Jeffrey, was doing uh, sit-ups on an inclined slant board. And everybody was uh, looking for a, a steel rod that was missing, which is used to hold a barbell up, to hold weights up. And I became obsessed with finding that steel rod for some reason. And I was looking around for it, and I must have seen something out of the corner of my eye because I heard myself yell, Jeffrey, real loud. And I turned and was too late because I saw Jeffrey with the steel rod that we were all looking for was above his head. And he brought it down and he hit Mick in the head with it. And then he brought it up again and he, one more time it collided with Mick's face. And uh, naturally Mick was taken away by ambulance. We saw him again at, back at school a few months later, quite disfigured and no longer the handsome boy he had been. And uh, Jeffrey was taken away by police and we never saw him again. I don't know what happened to him. We've all at times in our lives made mistakes and treated somebody in a way that we feel bad about later. And in the best cases, we can go to that person and say we're sorry. And we can uh, uh, seek to bring kindness and compassion to that person. But in a whole bunch of cases, like my own, we're talking about 40 years ago. And there's little I can do to find people that I wasn't kind to and, uh, and make amends to them. And so what we can do is exercise kindness and compassion to other people. And that's really all we can do if many years have gone by. But if you're still in it, if you're in high school, of course you can find that person and you can say whatever your truth is. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry I did that. And uh, let's do our best to be friends and make a huge difference in somebody's life.